Hey guys, my name is Asanka. For those new friends who are joining my channel for the first time, consider subscribing because I'll be teaching you some cool things that you can do at your home. How this circuit is going to work is there is a string uh, attached to an entrance or the property that you want to protect and uh, if you put tension to either end of the string it's going to let go of that pressure from one point once it does it's going to activate an alarm or a lighting system however the way you're going to wire it so this weekend i'll be showing you how to make that awesome circuit we need something to try it because this is going to be the lecture part oh where can i find a paper This looks a little bit too small. All right. This looks much better now. These are the things that you be needing. You are going to need a battery to power the entire circuit and a fuse for the safety purpose and a switch when to operate this load and the load that you are going to operate. These are the items that you will be needing. You will be needing a 12 volt bulb to light up or a horn to make some noise. Now you can use either one of them as your load. Now depending on the load, so I have used both 12 volt items, I'll be using a 12 volt battery. Now if I'm using something less than 6 volts, I won't be using this fuse. The most important thing is this plastic cloth clip. Now this is going to act as our switch and you need an old ATM card plus some strings and a wire to tie everything up. And the other item that you'll be needing is a screwdriver, an insulin tape and a pair of scissors. This is how the battery diagram of this circuit is going to look like. You have your battery and the positive and the negative terminals from the battery. Positive side, uh, you will have a wire going to the fuse. From the fuse, this positive wire goes through a switch. Now once this switch goes to the uh, closed position, uh, power from the battery to the load. Now you can use either a light or a speaker, either way you are going to wire the circuit. Now the load will be having a negative wire going back to the battery. As all things come to an end, we have come to the end of this video. But don't worry, there is going to be a second part of this video where I am going to show you how to connect everything up and complete the circuit. Till such time, click on the bell button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Once I release a new video, you'll be getting a notification on your screen. Till such time, be safe and be creative.